Hi, this is Hanzhou Zhao from Shanghai Zhao Tong University. Today, I'm going to introduce our work, Knowledge Aware Constitutional Preference Elicitation with Benefit Feedback, which is a joint work with Tong Yu, Zhu Huixi, and Shui Li. Uh, it is well known that the traditional recommended system may suffer the data sparsity and the cost of problem. Uh, uh, the recent advances show that the constitutional recommended systems uh, may alleviate the data sparsity by uh, asking the constitutions to users and mitigate the cost of the problem. Uh, well, however, there are still several limitations of existing CRS. The first one is uh, the uh, recommendation performance may depend heavily on the high quality key terms, uh, which are carefully labeled by humans. Uh, if the uh, if there are not uh, enough, uh, uh, if there are some incompletely labeled key terms, uh, the performance of the traditional uh, of the CRS may degrade heavily. Uh, the second one is uh, existing, most of the existing CRS may leverage the feedback to different compositional key terms separately. If there is a large candidate of compositional key terms, uh, the uh, CRS may be sample inefficient. Uh, which means that it, it will uh, it will need to conduct a lot of constitutions which may uh, bother the users. Uh, so in this work, we make the first attempt to leverage the graph structure uh, to study the constitutional bandits. We now uh, give a problem formulation of our uh, study. Okay, uh, we assume there is an item set uh, whose size is n, and there, uh, and for each item a, it has a feature x a in R b, and there is also a ketone set k, and each ketone k has a feature vector the k also in R b, and we first assume the agent is a uh, leave uh, is revealed to a knowledge graph g uh, equals e r, where the e is a set of entities and r is a set of relations. Uh, further, we assume uh, there is a linear structure over the user preference, uh, both on item and ketone levels. Uh, specifically, we assume the agent will receive a reward RATT equals to the inner product of XAT and C star plus optional T and, uh, and tilde RKT equals to tilde XKT uh, equals to the inner product of two the XKT and two the city star plus uh, two the optional. After recommending item AT and conducting uh, one conversation on ketone KT. Further, we uh, assume the conversation frequency uh, is modeled by GT, which is also adopted by previous work studying uh, conversational bandits. Okay, so learning objective of our agent is to minimize uh, the expected cumulative regret, which is uh, defined as uh, which is defined as the difference between uh, the rewards uh, obtained by uh, recommending the optimal uh, arms uh, and the rewards uh, obtained by the agents. As aforementioned, we assume uh, as aforementioned uh, there are two challenges we need to address here. The first one is. Uh, how could we uh, conduct constitutions uh, when there are uh, some incomplete labeled key terms? Uh, uh, the answer in this work is to propagate use preference of key terms on the graph. And the second challenge is uh, how to how do we avoid the sample inefficiency when there is a large canton set? With, when there is a large uh, candidate key term set. Uh, the answer in this work is to leverage the graph structure. Uh, is to leverage the graph structure to select the most informative key terms. Uh, here is an overview of our system, which consists of three key components. The first key component is item recommender, and second uh, key component is the graph-based optimal design module. And uh, and uh, the third key component of our system is uh, the pseudo graph feedback module. We will uh, we will introduce these three uh, components later. Okay. Uh, we now introduce how we uh, uh, 
uh, conduct item recommendation. Uh, as aforementioned, we assume there is a linear structure over the user preference. So we uh, learn to start accel uh, to accelerate the learning of city star by regression. And here's the tilde M is a grammy matrix generated by the selected ketones. And tilde lambda is the regularization uh, parameter. Uh, after we learn a good to the uh, uh, we now can learn this star by uh, also by regression, but with the guidance uh, by uh, to the sister uh, by uh, to the theta t. Uh, here, uh, the M is also the grammy which is generated by the uh, item level uh, feature vectors uh, of uh, stacked items. Uh, after we uh, 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 the item uh, 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 the item recommendation policy is uh, the uh, optimism uh, uh, in principle in the face of uncertainty, which is uh, common in the linear bandit. Here, to the uh, here the alpha and to the alpha are two hyperparameters representing the exploration uh, strengths on item and ketone level respectively. We now introduce how we. Uh, uh, propagate the user preference. Uh, we consider using the graph structure and some uh, and the semantic information. Here, the graph structure information is defined as uh, here's the graph structure information of uh, similarity k and k prime. It defined uh, as the J car similarity uh, between PHK and PK, PHK prime, uh, where the PHK is a set of paths starting from k to k with lines no larger than h. Uh, besides, we also uh, leverage the semantic information, which is defined as a cosine similarity between the feature vectors of uh, ketone K and K prime. Uh, finally, our agent take, takes an, uh, takes a hybrid metric to uh, measure the similarity between ketones. Uh, here's a uh, here's a gamma uh, is in uh, zero and one to balance these two kinds of uh, similarity metrics. Uh, uh, then, if our agent, uh, then after our agent recommending, uh, after conducting transitions on ketone K, he will construct a pseudo preference as similarity K, uh, and between K and K prime, uh, times to the RK to estimate to the RK prime, uh, using the true, uh, user level ketone, uh, feedback to the RK. Then our agent will update the, its estimate to set t star uh, as uh, to the set t utilizing all the true feedback and the pseudo graph feedback. Uh, we refer to this module as a pseudo graph feedback module. Uh, we now introduce how we uh, utilize the, the graph structure to select the most informative ketones. Uh, we assume uh, uh, the variance of uh, on the ketone level is uh, to the uh, is the square of uh, to the sigma. Then the Gauss-Markov theorem tells us that the covariance matrix of two the CDT is uh, the square of two the sigma uh, times uh, the inverse of two the MT. Uh, in this work, we leverage the optimal experimental design to select the most informative ketones, uh, which may, uh, uh, which uh, makes the determine uh, which makes the determinant of the inverse of two the MT diminish fast. Specifically, we uh, uh, we aim to find uh, an optimal distribution pi star uh, satisfies that uh, pi star uh, pi star maximizes the determinant of to the m t. Uh, Here, the G H K is the Gramian matrix generated by the all the feature vectors of uh, ketone case H hop neighbors. Uh, we uh, approximately solve this problem uh, by first uh, uh, compute the best rank one approximation of GHK as uh, in terms of the F norm of uh, the uh, of the matrix GHK. Then we find uh, the optimal distribution pi star H over to the X K H K, uh, which uh, such that uh, pi star H maximize the determinant of this uh, of this term. Uh, note that this term, uh, note that this pi star h can be solved by canonical optimal design methods. 
Uh, then our agent will sample ketones from pi star H to conduct conversations. We refer to this model as a graph based of the mode design model. We, in this work, we conduct extensive experiments to evaluate uh, the performance of our system uh, by uh, three specific research questions. The first one is what's the overall performance of our system graph can you be? And, so, and the second research question is what is the performance of graph can you be given the items is incompletely labeled ketones? And the third one is uh, the ablation study of the PGF module and the, and the GOD module. To answer the first research question, we conduct uh, experiments on three real-world data sets on uh, Movilance 20M, uh, Last.fm, and uh, Amazon Block data sets. Uh, as we can see, our algorithm uh, uh, improves the SOTA uh, baseline point to be by a large margin. Uh, specifically, graph point to be improves over point to be by uh, roughly uh, fifty percent and ten percent and ten percent on three uh, data sets respectively. To answer the second research question, uh, we uh, delete some. Uh, we delete the ketones. Uh, we delete some parts of the ketones which are frequently used by specific agents to mimic the data sets with uh, incomplete labeled uh, ketones. Uh, as we can observe that. Uh, also, also may suffer uh, roughly uh, more regret if the, uh, as the deletion ratio of ketones increase. However, our algorithm, uh, however, the increased cumulative regret of our algorithm is uh, significantly less than the baseline can to be, uh, which indicates that our algorithm can handle the items with incomplete labeled ketones more effectively. Uh, to answer the last research question, we also conduct an evolution study of our algorithm. Uh, here we can observe that uh, the expression ratio of ketones of uh, the okay. variant of our algorithm okay. graph can be without GOD, uh, uh, without GOD module uh, improves the SOTA baseline can be significantly. However, we further observe that our algorithm achieves okay. the fattest Expression okay. ratio of ketones on, uh, on both on Movilance 20 m and last time data sets, which indicates that each uh, module in our system has a positive feedback, uh, has a positive effects. Uh, to sum up, to sum up in this work, we propose a pseudograph feedback module to effectively to effectively propagate the so use preferences, and we also uh, devise a graph-based optimal design module which stacks the most informative uh, ketones uh, is leverage the graph structure. Uh, okay, that's it. Uh, thanks for your lesson. Okay, thank you, Chen Zhen. Uh, we still have a one minute or so for for questions from the audience. Thank you for the inspiring presentation. Interesting work. Thank you. So, are there are there any questions from the audience? So uh, apparently, from your work, you you uh, unless I misunderstood it, you you haven't uh, compared against deep learning based approaches as a baseline, did you or? Uh, no, no, we, 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 can, we cannot hear you very well because you have some some background voices, uh, so it turns out a little uh, bit sorry, difficult. Sorry, I'm, uh, sorry, so you you were uh, saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I we mainly focus on the online setting, which uh, where there are no uh, historical user data can be used to train the offline model, such as uh, such uh, such as um, uh, deep learning model. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the that, that, that's the reason, right? You also mentioned yeah, several yeah. times the, the notion of of key terms, which is a central thing in your in your work. Have you considered applying key phrase extraction methods uh, along the, along your work, or or do you think it, it doesn't uh, make any we, sense at all? Uh, we plan to do so, but we uh, have uh, not tried to uh, find some collaborations in industrial companies. But we mm -hmm. have planned to do so. Uh, 